Well, I've been working very hard since I saw you last and I am very pleased to say that I have cleared all the ivy from this corner and from uh, the fence over here both sides both inside the garden and both on the other side there is one root left that i cannot get off and it is right down in this far corner now it's so close to the house and it's actually buried down so far i just i cannot get it out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get some um some weed killer um, next time I pass um, a garden centre and I am going to stick some of that on there and hopefully that will um, manage to kill the last little bit of ivy. Um, I'm not going to put anything in this area for a while until the raised bed has, uh, has been put in and filled so it will give plenty of time for all of that weed stuff to then sort of disappear and not affect what I have put in or what I'm going to put in this bed. Um, over here I will put the small plastic shed but until um, the raised bed is in I can't level off this section over here. So um, that's going to have to be done once this has done. But I am very pleased that I've managed to um, to finish this and I'm also very pleased to say that I didn't come across any huge massive spiders just the odd one or two tiny little ones which I was very surprised at. So now I've done this now it's time to move on to another bed. Now this area here we have called the tropical bed um, because it has some very very beautiful tropical look uh, tropical like looking um, plants in it. Um, I am not going to strip this bed at all. It's got a beautiful, very small, which is just actually the right size for this garden. It must be about 12 feet tall, I guess, uh, weeping willow, <clears throat> which is just lovely. Um, and um, it's right up in the corner and it's just really, really nice. So I want to keep this. There are also um, a few other <clears throat> sort of shrubs, which again, I want to keep. Um, and I'm just going to prune them back because they seem to have encroached on the lawn uh, quite a lot. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know whether you can see it, but up in the far corner, there is a pile of debris. Now it's been there since we've been here. So I don't quite know how long that pile of debris has been there but I am convinced that there is um, a hedgehog living in there so when I do come to remove that I am going to have to be very very careful because obviously I want to encourage hedgehogs into the garden because they eat the slugs and snails now even after we have had a load of rain you don't see any slugs or snails. So this is another reason that I am convinced that there is um, at least one in there. So before I remove that, I'm going to have to make um, sort of a little home for the hedgehog and sort of put it in that position um, so that hopefully it will then go straight in there. Now, <clears throat> This, these trees actually um, give a little bit of a shade in the garden, which is great because when these big hideous conifer trees are down, um, over in this far corner, the chickens are going to go there. So they will get a little bit of shade from these trees here. So this is my job uh, for the next for the rest of today and possibly for uh, uh, the next couple of days it depends how long it's going to take but i have a feeling it could take a while is just to tidy up this area um, i'm going to show you what i am going to start with first i'm going to start over this side and then gradually work my way along so let me show you this area just in a little more detail 
Now over here you'll see a pile of plants. Now um, this is um, a load of weeds and plants and all sorts of stuff that I actually took out from the ivy corner um, and I just sort of dumped it here. So um, my first job, hopefully I'll get this finished before I have lunch today, um, is to clear all of this lot. Um, at the moment I am doing um, a trip every day uh, to the tip uh, to get rid of the garden waste. Um, I fill the boot of the car, I put the back seats flat um, and so it gives me a massive space. Um, and I am filling the, the car up um, with a load of um, garden uh, waste and taking it down the tip. I cannot put it in the compost heap at the moment because yes, I've got the compost heaps together but they're not in their final place. So there is no point me filling my compost heaps with a load of the garden waste because how on earth am I going to be able to move them? The compost heaps will um, go up the end of the garden but obviously those hideous trees need to come down first. So um, I know where they're going to go but at the moment um, I just have to take this down the tip and then they turn it into compost so that's fine. Um, so it's not like it's going to landfill. So I will clear this um, area here before I can then get underneath the tree because there are weeds and stinging nettles um, and yes, more ivy um, underneath <coughs> uh, the tree. Um, so um, I need to get and sort that out, but I can't get under there until I've cleared this out. Right, so I've uh, just had a lunch and a little bit of a rest, so I'm back out in the garden. Now, um, as you can see, I've cleared away the mound of debris that I had um, here. So that's great. So I'm gonna start underneath this tree now there's all sorts underneath this tree. There's a load of um, thistles, uh, there's some stinging nettles, uh, there's verbena, there's actually some chives and there's some mint under here as well. Um, and all sorts of other weeds and other sort of plants as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have a really good tidy up underneath this. Because um, the sections of the willow um, come down quite a long way. I'm actually going to get my shears and I'm actually going to um, sort of cut the, the low drooping um, leaves and uh, branches, very small sort of uh, branches off. Um, so basically I can just get underneath them. Um, it's not a problem, it's just giving it a little bit of a haircut. It's nothing extreme, so it's not gonna, um, gonna worry about it. Um, so it just basically means that if I cut off some of the, the low-lying willow, I can actually get underneath and I can see what's under there. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do now. So um, I'll do some and then I'll show you when I've finished. Now, just before I go and um, have a well-earned cup of tea, um, I would have some biscuits, but I haven't got any, so maybe I'll have some crisps or something, I don't know. Um, but before I go and have a little snack, I just thought that I would um, show you how I'm getting on with this patch. Hopefully you can see, let me just move out the way, that I have cleared this entire area. Um, in here, there were um, lots and lots of weeds, um, there was uh, some ivy, um, there was uh, a couple of little tiny saplings that were growing which shouldn't clearly shouldn't have been growing there, uh, some stinging nettles um, and just all sorts of stuff that I didn't need, thistles and things. So um, I've cleared all that big area. Um, this soil is has far less clay in it than that bed over there, which is bizarre. You know, you would imagine that your garden is generally the same all the way through, especially this size. Unless, of course, you had, you know, acres and acres, then you could understand that it had sort of, you know, it was different. But in something sort of this size, um, it's very different on each of the beds. It's really quite bizarre. So you're never quite sure what you're gonna get. 
Um, so, um, as I say, I've cleared all of that, which is, is great. Um, I have got a load of plants that I bought in pots um, from our other place. So I will um, put some of those in here, but I will show you that when I do it. But I'm not going to do that until I've finished taking out of this bed what I want. So that's this section. Let me just show you over the other side what I've done. Now over this side of the bed near the, the corner, um, what I have done is I have quite dramatically pruned um, this shrub here. Um, if uh, Hopefully you can see there's like a big brown patch all the way out here. This was grass, um, but this um, shrub had actually grown out over the grass so much the edge of the bed is there. So um, I've actually pruned it back to the edge of the bed um, and because it had come all the way over here and was lying on the grass you can see how much space it's actually taken up it's gone out at least 12 foot at the furthest point um, so I've um, I've quite dramatically pruned that back um, it looks very bare around here at the moment I have to admit but um, don't worry it will um, get leaves on and it will it will sort itself out so that's not a problem at the end of um, the summer I would do this to most of the bushes anyway and then they sort of go a bit dormant during the the winter and then when the spring comes the following year then they all come back out again but hopefully now that this bit of grass has been exposed the grass will start to crumb back through now in here there were lots of um, dead leaves that had come down and they were actually sort of they they clustered themselves um, in here and there was they were big and thick um, now obviously that doesn't allow the plant to breathe so what you need to do is when you do prune it and this goes for any shrubbery at all um, remove as many of the um, the dead leaves from around the base and also from in here. Now, obviously I'm not asking you to pick them all out individually. The best way to get rid of them is just to get your gloves on and just sort of shake them like this. And then they will fall out, okay? And then you can just run your hand underneath and then just scoop them out. And just from doing that, I've got a nice handful um, so that's that area. I've also pruned this bush here just a little bit. I've got more to do, but as I say, I'm going to have a um, sit down and a cup of tea and then I will come back and do a bit more later on. Well, um, I think I'm going to call that quits for the day. Um, I've done an awful lot today and I'm really pleased with um, the amount of stuff that I've managed to do. Um, with regards to this uh, tropical corner, um, I've cleared all of that. I will fill that area up with um, some plants that I've got in pots over there, but I'm not going to do it today because it's getting quite late and I'm going to have to go and pick the kids up from school in a minute. Um, over on this side, I have pruned this bed back um, and got rid of a load of debris. I've also pruned this bed here. Um, as well and shifted that back a bit um, because again this was um, flowing over here. Um, I've uh, sorted out a load of um, the weeds and stuff under here. Now there is a load of ivy and I can't actually believe I'm going to say this. I am leaving this ivy here because it's actually it's way back there and it does sort of come out here but it actually um, it covers up a load of the soil and over here it's not a problem um, so um, there are also some other um, ground covering plants that they've got some are very similar to ones that I've got um, which I was going to put in anyway um, so I'm going to leave that ivy um, and it'll just sort of cover it and make it look green all the time and it'll actually look really really nice um, so I've done oh I missed a bit there we go um, so I've I've done as much as I want to do the very far corner 
Um, I haven't started yet. That is a job on its own. Um, so um, I will, once I've put these plants in, I expect I'll then move over there. Um, and that's the corner where I think I possibly have a hedgehog, but we will find out. Um, so yes, that's it for the day. I hope you found what I've shown you interesting and possibly useful. And I look forward to seeing you very soon. Bye-bye.